Good morning, Chandler High School. Today is Friday, September 7th, 2018. I'm Carlos. And I'm Betsy. And you're watching WOLF News. Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Theater. Tickets are now on sale for CHS Theater's Fall Play Alice. The play will run September 19th, 20th, and 21st. Buy your tickets in the bookstore or at the door. Is college in your future? Did you receive a golden ticket regarding the PSAT? Don't, don't delay and sign up for the PSAT now. Tests are limited and late registration will have an increased fee. Still have questions about the PSAT? See Mrs. Nelson in the counseling office or Mrs. Anderson in the College and Career Center. Want to increase your SAT scores? Sign up for the SAT prep class starting the week of September 17th. For more details and registration, visit Community Education Club CUSD. Good morning, Wolves. I'm Michael. And I'm Ruth. And today we have a special guest from DECA, Laisha, talking about Fall Fest. Hello, Wolves. We're bringing to you a Fall Festival here at the Practice Field on September 14th from 6.30 to 9.30. Wristbands are $10, Fast Pass wristbands are $15. Hope to see you there. And reminder, student centers, you guys have a meeting in the CCA September 29th. And now it's time for our next guest, Haley Palmer from Theater. Hi guys, my name is Haley Palmer and I will be playing the Queen of Hearts in CHS Theater's upcoming production of Alice. We would like to invite you to come see our show next Tuesday through Friday in the CCA Bogle Theater. Tickets are $8 at the door and in the bookstore. If you're in our club and would like to participate in float building for homecoming, come to the auto yard September 24th to the 26th from 5 to 8. Thanks, Wolves. Have a great day. There is no eating in the outside stairwells or inside the buildings during lunch. Students caught eating in these areas will be giving lunch attention. Yearbook. Here's a message from Yearbook. Good, Good morning, morning Wolves. Wolves. This is Jagger. And this is Emily from Yearbook. Underclass students, 9th through 11th grade. If you miss your yearbook photos back in August, no worries. You can retake them this upcoming Tuesday, September 18th. Also, if you need a retake where your photo package wasn't accept acceptable from the first photo day, you must bring your photo packet with you this upcoming Tuesday. Underclass photo packets must should have been delivered yesterday or today in your second period classes. Students who were absent or new to the school should have received a pass on Monday to allow them to go to CCA in one of their classes, periods one through three. 
Senior Porches will be held in the Media Center on October 1st through the 16th, except Sundays. If you do not take your senior photo, you will not be featured in the yearbook at all. By this time, your parent or guardian should have received a letter in the mail with a set appointment. If you do not receive this letter, please call Life Touch Customer Service at 480-296-2880 to set up your appointment or see Mr. Hinton at the Media Center for more info. Yearbooks are now $65. Purchase them online at jostityearbook.com or in the bookstore before the prices increase. Thanks and have a great day. Homecoming guest passes are available in the bookstore and front office starting Monday, September 17th. Signed guest passes are due to Miss Templeton no later than 3 p.m. on Thursday, October 18th. Don't wait, get your passes in before fall break. Homecoming, check out this video about the homecoming dance. Students, do you think you're the only ones who struggle with math problems? Check this out. Hi, I'm Ms. Hubble. I'm an English teacher here at Chandler High. Hello, I'm Senora Weifels. I teach Spanish here. I'm Ms. Walton. I teach uh, AP Human Geography, U.S. History, and World History. I am not a math teacher. I don't even balance my checkbook. How long has it been since you've taken a math class? It's been about 15 years. I, I haven't taken a math class since my first year in college, which was 19 years ago. Uh, 2010, <laughs> college algebra at ASU. I passed it, by the way. Do you know how to do the first one? So there's two problems on this paper? Yes. Okay, great. Solve um, for x? Nope. 3 plus 4 plus x, I think. And then whatever the answer is. You're supposed to solve for x. <laughs> oh. I'm going to say the answer is... Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Can I can't guess? Okay, great. Does the Pythagorean theorem ring a bell? I do know Pythagoras made that theorem, but I don't remember the rules for it. Um, so I'll just make up something. Can I just write the problem? Right? I don't even know if this is how you get squares. Isn't it square, just it's times itself? Right, four times four is, right, isn't that what I'm doing? Okay, cool, okay, okay, cool. Um, I don't know what four times four is, you guys. I didn't do well on my times tables. Sure, so sure. what if I do, like, what if it's three times three and then it's nine, and then it's four times four and 16, and then the answer is gonna be 15? <laughs> My answer is 15. 
you get those numbers. <laughs> I multiplied three times three, and I squared three, and then I squared four, and then I put them together. Learn it be 25? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 26, is that right? 26? Did you just see that math? They don't teach that in Common Core anymore. So then don't I have to square root this? Right? Something like that. Uh, I don't know how to find the square root though. I don't know what that means. 12? No. 13? Is that square root? No, 13 times itself is in 26. Uh... <laughs> There's something with squaring things. That's all I remember. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Oh! So it's five? Yeah. The answer's five then. Yeah. Ha yeah? <laughs> ha Is the answer to the first one. So you have to add three squared and four squared together. What does that give you? 26 squared? What does nine plus 16 equal? Not 26 apparently. <laughs> Wait, let me do that. Not 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, it's so close. 25. It is 5, not the question mark. Okay. X equals 5. Yes. Did it. Well, Pythagoras, this is for you, sir. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.